let's work on on a row vector and plotting it. So first we're going to make a row vector x equals 1, 5, 10, 7, 9, 4, and 8. Random numbers. And, oh, we should have said random numbers, put a semicolon, so we put that display on. Okay, well, I did it now. And next one, I'm going to plot whatever is in the X. And, wow, look at that. That is truly amazing. Fits in there very well, I think. About there. All right. Let's get it to about there. That looks nice. Uh, what else can I do? I just plotted X. Now well, let's make it look nicer. Let's put the grid on. What does that look like now? Well, it doesn't look like that. It looks like this. Oh, that looks nice. Grid's on. Hmm. But I don't, uh, I don't like this. I'd, I'd like to see a bar. Yeah, that's what I'd like to do. I'd like to see that in the form of a bar. Let's make a bar out of X, a bar plot, a bar graph. And let's go get that boy. And he's over here. Oh, it just turned it into a bar graph. That is just amazing. Wait a minute. On the bottom over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's say there were a number of children in some family were seven. And these were their ages. I don't see labels here. Oh, no. What am I going to do? I could put labels on them. It would say the X graph label. Should say open parens uh, number number of kids and let's see what that looks like. Ah, there it is, number of kids. Wow, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven kids. Now, what else can we put in here? How about all? If we got an X label, we should be able to come up with a Y label. So, let's do a Y label. And here we'll say, uh, uh, age of child. That's good. Hit enter. And, let's go over to our graph. And, oh, there it is. Incredible. Age of child. And up here. Or right, down there, I should say. It's number of kids. That's pretty amazing, I think. What if I wanted to change this? I don't want to see this as a bar. I like it to be plotted now. But with... Uh, have you ever seen those plots that have, like, asterisks everywhere? We could do that. Or plus signs. Let's do plus signs. I'm going to plot X, and the character I want it to use is the plus sign. Let's see how that looks. Let me go. Oh, there it goes. Up, up, down. Okay. That's not too, too great. Well, let's change that character. From a plus to an asterisk. Oops. Change that to an asterisk. Maybe it'll look better now. And one up and down and up and down and up. That looks nice now. Yeah, sort of. Sort of. I like the bar better. So, whoa, what was that? Bar of X. That looks good. There we go. 
But notice when I did that, I lost my uh, I lost my labels from before. Oh, I'm so sad about that. Up arrow key a few times, and there we go. Y label, age of the child. Up arrow key a few times, I'll get to X label, and there it is, number of kids. And now I go back to my chart, and there it is, age of child, number of kids, bar graph. You just got to love it. This is so super duper cool. All right. That's about all I have to say for now. Move that out of the way. This is George Bull saying bye-bye now.